Okay, question 33 of leak code, search in rotated sorted array. So there is an integer array nums sorted in ascending order with distinct values. So there will be no duplicates. Prior to being passed to your function, nums is possibly rotated at an unknown pivot index, such that the resulting array is nums k, nums k plus one, all the way up to nums n minus one and nums zero, nums one, all the way up to nums k minus one, zero indexed. So given the array nums after the possible rotation and integer target, return the index of target if it is in nums or minus one if it is not in nums. You must write an algorithm with O log n runtime complexity. So straight off the bat, it's asking for O log n time complexity. We have a rotated sorted array. So sorted is the key word here. So this means we're going to be utilizing binary search to solve this problem. So the examples are pretty straightforward. The target is zero and the output is four. So the index here is four. The target in example two is three. It's not in the nums array, so we return minus one. And same with example three. So as we mentioned, we're going to be using binary search to find the solution to this question. And binary search is searching through a sorted array. Now, as you can see with this array, if we look at the graph to this array, we have an incremental change up until this point, And then all of a sudden there is a drop and then it goes to the incremental change again. So we have this area here and this area here, which are both sorted. So we're not going to be able to run binary search on the entire array. So we're gonna to have to run two binary searches. We're gonna to have to check which side is sorted, and then we're gonna run a binary search either on the left side or the right side, and adjust accordingly. So let's do that. We've got left, we've got right, and we've got mid. Now to work out which side is sorted, the way you could go about doing this is to check whether the nums at mid is less than nums at right. If it is, then we can say that the right side is sorted, if it isn't, we can say the left side is sorted. So in this case, nums at right, which is two, is not greater than nums at mid. So we look in the left side for the target. And in this case, target is equal to zero. So we check in the left side where the target can be found in there. So if target is less than nums at mid and greater than or equal to nums at right, neither of those are true. What we can do is we can increment left to mid plus one. So left goes here. We can update this and now we can search in this section of the array. So mid is here. Is mid less than right? Yes, it is. So we can look for the target. Is target greater than nums at mid and less than or equal to nums at right? Well, it isn't greater than nums at mid, but it is less than nums at right. So we can just update right to be mid minus one. Now that we're on here, mid is this value. If nums at mid is equal to target, we can return that value then. So we can return this index, which is four. Let's run for another example. So let's say we have, and target is equal to eight. Well, the first thing we get the left and right, make sure we have the mid and we check to see which side is sorted. So if mid nums at mid is less than nums at right, we know that the right side is sorted. But in this case, again, it's not sorted. So we'll go to the left side. Yeah, because the right side we have eight, zero and one. We know for a fact that's not sorted. And then on the left side, we have four, five, six, seven, which is sorted. Then we can check for the target in the left side. Okay, so we check, is target less than nums at mid? No, it's not. So we can increment left to nums at mid plus one. So we update mid now. So mid is here. We check if this is sorted. So is nums at right greater than nums at mid? Yes, it is. So now that the right side is sorted, we can look for the target in this area. So is target greater than nums at mid? It is greater than nums at mid. And is target less than or equal to nums at right? No, it's not. So what do we do? We decrement right to mid minus one. So right comes here to clean this up. Now update mid, so mid comes here, and then we just return the index of mid. Okay, so when we're writing this out, we need a left pointer, we need the right pointer, and we need to create that while loop for the binary search. So while left is less than or equal to right, we need to grab the mid. Now we work out the mid this way rather than doing math.floor right plus left divided by two because this avoids stack overflow. We can check if nums at mid is equal to target. If it is, we need to return the index of mid. Now we need to check which side is sorted. 
So as we said in the solution, so nums at right, if nums at right is greater than nums at mid, we know that the right side is sorted. So we can check in the right side. So if target is greater than nums at mid and target is less than or equal to nums at right, we'll increment left. So we'll say left is equal to mid plus one, else we'll change right to mid minus one. So that's if the right side is sorted. Else, we need to make the check in the left side. So if the left side is sorted, we need to carry out the binary search on that side. So if target is less than nums at mid and target is greater than or equal to nums at left, then we change right. So right becomes mid minus one. Else, left equals mid plus one. And remember at the end to return minus one, just in case the target is not within the array. Let's give this a run. Okay, that's been accepted. Let's submit it. Okay, and there you have it.